Sondom Bopé Oh, my wiener You're watching the Weekly Wednesday What's Up, the section of my channel where I tell you everything that I've been doing in one week. And everybody's looking at me because I'm leaving the central shopping area to head home now. I just got finished doing a lot of shopping uh, for myself and for tomorrow's big day, the big skit, uh, the Death Note shooting. So I'm going to record this a little bit earlier than I usually do. I haven't edited the flash yet and I haven't uh, worked on any other sort of reaction projects or anything in that such right now, just because at this moment, check out this dope ass bike. It's pretty cool, right? Well, at this moment, basically, all uh, focus was on just recording the flash uh, among some other things. Even Dante left really early today because he's got some of his own projects and endeavors to do but I want to basically I need to do my hair we should go let's go let's keep going right this way I need to do my hair and so that's one of the things once it starts getting dark like this the longer and longer I wait the harder it becomes to uh, take care of my hair I tried to do it last night but I got home like at 11 o'clock I'm like I'm not gonna do it and it takes like four hours for me to do my own hair so it's a bit annoying so what I'm probably going to do today, so I don't run into this situation, because what happens is if I, like I tried doing this last time, and I was doing my hair late until last night, uh, late until the night before the Deadpool shooting, and I just, my body was just so tired the next morning, and it really showed on my face a lot more. Like in the morning, it's not so bad uh, after I wake up and put some uh, ice, suppressants or whatever to uh, the swelling or something like that the blood but during the nighttime the body just gets too tired and it shows in the morning so uh, that's what I'm going to but what I'm probably gonna do this time around is I'm gonna go home sort everything out for just a little bit then I'm going to go ahead and start doing my hair with the marathon running you know I was gonna sometimes my girl she does uh, my hair for me but uh, sometimes it's good but usually it's uh, it's sometimes some, like I still can't really concentrate or I just try to put a movie on or something like that I still can't focus it like I can't really edit fully and I thought about doing that actually and I still might but it might it's just I can't really I'm still distracted even when someone else is doing my hair the best thing I can really do is just do communication, organization, things like that. So I'm just gonna get it out the way. And you know, she may not even be in the mood to do my hair if she's not really thinking about it because it still takes her about three hours or, or so. You know, you come home from work to do that. It's just not, and, we've been, and that's one of the things, I don't really do my hair that often because I have to reserve a good amount of time to do it. and. That's basically why I don't do it so often. Uh, not to mention the products I need to import from America, so it's a bit expensive. Uh, I'm probably just going to go home right now. I think it's about seven o'clock right now. No, it can't be that. It's gotta be around six o'clock right now. I'm gonna go home, relax a little bit, get everything set up. I'm gonna line up a bunch of the episodes of Fear of the Walking Dead so I can knock that out of the park. While I'm watching that, I'll just be doing my hair. and. Then, after that, when all is said and done on that side, I'll probably start editing the flash. Because if I start around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, finish around 10, 11 o'clock, that's still well enough time to go ahead and upload, to edit and upload the latest reaction of the flash. Because usually 12 o'clock my time is the time I usually drop the reaction. I think that's for the best. If I try and do it the opposite way, I can almost imagine other things are going to happen. A lot of people are gonna get home and then people are going to wanna to talk to me about tomorrow in terms of 
all this stuff. This is the only issue I have when I'm doing these really cool ideas and group projects when you're like the project manager. There's so much stuff you have to balance, like YouTube and Warner Brothers, they still want the final script, which I haven't written, and in all likelihood, I will probably, <laughs> in all likelihood, I will probably write on the fly. That's a little disappointing in itself. Like, I had that same problem with Deadpool. I had a basic idea of the story, but I really didn't have any sort of laid out script, and I have noticed that that has been my that's been my sort of fault when it's very different from like what I do on YouTube because most of the stuff I do on YouTube is ad-libbed, right? And um, even YouTubers do a lot of stuff ad-libbed, but something like this, when you have actors coming in and just people that generally don't, aren't in front of the camera too often, they kind of want to have a better, they want to have a better idea of what they can say, so. I've been lucky recently, I've had people that I can work with where I can just give them a general direction, but it would be better to, especially one girl coming in, she's an actual actress, uh, she does more Broadway if anything, but uh, I think she needs more guidance of like what exactly to say and things like that. It's just a little difficult because I just never have had the time. I sat down with the director a little while ago and we wanted, like I told him I would call him today because I wanted to hash out some dialogue between characters, but I may not be able to get to that at this moment in time. So I hope, I have a, basically I have a general idea. And even for me, for my own character, a lot of that stuff I can write after because it's going to be voiceovers so my main thing tomorrow is just going to be making sure i film some key key shots and then later in post-production i will film my voiceovers so that's why i really didn't think so much about the character situation so much one kind of fall flaw i noticed i have that i should really try to improve on other than that guys there's a so i'm looking forward to it though i think it's gonna go a lot smoother than deadpool i kind of thought too big i imagined too much i did have to have a meeting with warner brothers and um youtube yesterday which was like two hours like um idea after idea was getting shot down of like there's just certain things that they want to do and intellectual properties that they have to protect and I'll probably talk about that in the future but I don't be I'm not gonna tell you guys about it when what in all likelihood what I'm gonna end up doing is a behind-the-scenes thing later after the video because that was kind of one of the problems with Deadpool I noticed is that I, I noticed there were justifiable critiques and complaints about that skit but it's also because you guys didn't realize that we did that on no budget all of that came out of my own pocket um, what we could do and everybody just contributed what they could like nothing was there was like no budget and um, even the editors did it for free for that film and then there were restrictions how you couldn't take out the you, Fox wouldn't let you take out the costume from the building because originally I wanted to walk around Japan if Deadpool was in Japan I wanted to walk around with the suit borrow it for a little while no all I had was basically that studio and that's generally what it is why some of those skits end up like that with, with the youtubers the, at the YouTube space they really want you to just keep it internal and uh, what I can say is that Deadpool, uh, De Death Note has a lot of those similar restrictions, actually even worse restrictions, but I'm going to tell you about it in the near future after you get to see the film, because I don't want to really make it seem like I, I made excuses or anything, but at the same time, I don't want to overhype it to make it seem like it's going to be crazy, but there will be a little bit of hype. I'm already telling you guys right now because we have there's something in my mind that I want to get ready so there will be a little bit of ad spots that I'll be doing uh, the other issue I want to let you guys know of is to, um, we're filming tomorrow which is the 20th but this video actually needs 
the video needs to be submitted by the 26th and I don't like I mentioned before I don't really have any editors or anything so at this moment yeah we have a budget but nobody like I don't think anybody wants to take on this project and have it ready by the 6th in six days to edit you know it's it seems like a lot of time but when you balance it out with everything else that you do in your daily life and this is a side project uh, it's very difficult and I might end up doing the editing myself but if I do that means I need to stop doing any other videos or I'm a little worried like you know for example Guardians of the Galaxy that trailer might drop soon um, there's another one that's going to drop really soon uh, something new something new not John Wick it's another really big one actually I just read and it's that kind of stuff I got I can't stop and take care of those it doesn't take it doesn't take as short of amount of time as you might think if there's anything I'm gonna focus on editing it's got to be the death note project however one loophole and the reason you it needs to be submitted by the 26 is because the movie comes out in Japan the new movie comes out into Japan on the 29th so uh, they want to have it all lined in with promotion and such uh, the one loophole that uh, we sort of discussed yesterday is that if it's possible maybe if I really can't get the short film or skit I'm just calling it a skit if it's like eight nine minutes it's a skit right I don't know I don't really know the difference between a skit and a short film other than I guess the amount of time but to my in my mind I thought skits were very low budget um, low budget out of your uh, apartment or something like that type of uh, film uh, film right you guys might have to clarify that for me so um, the one loophole they kind of said was if I do some sort of video blog vlog like promoting like kind of like a behind the scenes type of thing by the 26 that would be acceptable so do a behind the scenes feature and then later release the full-fledged uh, feature the full-fledged short film skit whatever you want to call it they said that Warner Brothers would probably be fine with something like that because at least it gets the promotion out so I might do something like that and I might film something like that like tomorrow I'll just set up a camera on the side and do kind of like an interview style like I'm being interviewed while some stuff in the back is going on and I'll do like a character explanation of all the different characters like that. I'm thinking that's the way I'm going to go about doing it. I'm just a little worried because I feel like the behind the scenes might be... <laughs> the behind the scenes might be a little longer than the actual skit itself. So this is the part I'm worried about. The other thing I'm actually thinking about is uh, I might just do a casting call for people that want to submit their death scenes in fact I'll probably film that right after this asking people the fans just to submit like uh, Andrew from Flick Freaks he sent me something and uh, we got bunny girl she's like yes Akasan, I will die for you and I was like Ooh. bunny girl I don't know what it is about her but like the way she, her her presence I think I've mentioned this before you guys like she's has, yeah, she has something called moe she has a lot of moe that just makes you feel like something just like yeah like that right nothing sexual nothing like stalkerish or whatever but it is like that feeling kind of very similar to if you have a daughter or something like that and your daughter or your son does something cute and you're just like 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 that there's this this cuteness I guess it's a form of acuteness anyways so she's down with it so I just I saw what Andrew sent and I'm like you know what maybe I should just have a bunch of people submit stuff that would probably be better instead of banking on a few of my YouTube friends to submit something just get everybody in there and hopefully Warner Brothers <laughs> there's a big issue about death and such <laughs> ironically I, I will tell you guys about it in a behind the scenes feature um, <laughs> but there's a big issue about death so I gotta be careful how I portray it but let me do something like that okay uh, I was gonna tell you guys about something that uh, other youtubers have been kind of talking about and uh, some new beef that's been going on and call outs and things like that but 
I think we're gonna leave it at this. We'll talk about that another time when it's time to like really, maybe give, maybe two or three weeks. Let's talk about that when there's nothing else to talk about because it's really, ultimately it has really nothing much to do with us. And that's where we need to be focused right now, okay? I'm looking forward to tomorrow's shooting, guys. Um, the videos, have, everything's been really good with the channel, for reals, like, it's crazy. Like, I've been putting out less videos but I've actually been getting more views, uh, more views, more discussions, and of course, a little more royalties have been uh, kicked up. Our monetization has been kicked up just because of the length of the videos. A lot of you guys have really enjoyed these more longer discussions, and it's a little hard recording and having these 30 minute shows with Dante or 30 minute features but uh, I've enjoyed it and looks like you guys are enjoying it as well but don't worry I haven't forgotten about maybe the, like the more shorter reactions but we're gonna be working on an alternative very very soon this week we're doing Death Note next week I'm recording uh, this video game TV feature for this Japan TV type of deal uh, I will maybe talk about that. It's gonna be overnight, that's the crazy thing. They're gonna shut down an arcade and we're gonna film like from 12 o'clock at night to seven in the morning or some shit. It's gonna be really crazy, guys. So, love y'all, take care of yourselves and I will let you guys know what's up next week.